what up home slices, what up homes and fries and home fries and fries and homes of other varieties. Boy, did I butcher that. Anyway, <laughs> so we've had multiple people request that I take a look-see into Ethel the TikTok ghost. If you don't know who that is or what that's all about, I'm going to play the TikToks back to back and we're going to talk about it. So here we go with the TikToks. In here, unless we have a ghost, I didn't touch it. So I have the cleaner. I lost my AirPods. I lost my keys. I lost my shoes. Okay. Since we moved in. You have to just be misplacing them. I put it in here. Not in here. I thought I saw that move. I thought that was moving. And now you're losing your mind. I had that on the list. Oh. I put my protein powder in here. And you didn't... You said you didn't touch it? No. Why would I put your protein powder in here? No. That's moving. No. That's the lighting. Stop. Could you stop? How are you doing that? Oh, 
You want me to stop it? She started it. Are you kidding? Started it. You ate ice cream. Oh, I ate it. If she had Big Macs in her day, I'll tell you right now, she would have been Gordo. Be nice. It was her first. I'm not going to get fat shamed in my own house by a ghost. So the question that I've been asked a lot of times is whether or not the paranormal activity in these videos are legit. And long story short, unfortunately, they are not legit. I think the skits are funny in no way, shape, or form am I trying to cause drama or issues or anything with these TikTok creators here. People genuinely want to know, so I want to answer their questions. But my guess is between the couple here, Ethel was most likely an inside joke to start out. And then I feel like they had that idea of, oh my god, this would make great TikTok content. And I think they just went with it as like a joke. I think their TikToks are very entertaining and hilarious. So I'm not trying to be mean or anything here. But so the question is too, is there anything paranormal going on in the house other than what they show in the video? So basically, is there any real paranormal activity that's going on that maybe they don't even know about? So I took a look-see as well to see, hmm, maybe there might be something going on and they just don't realize it and it's kind of like ironic. And so when I looked, interestingly enough, I didn't really see anything noteworthy, but that doesn't really necessarily mean anything because I'm not perfect and there are times that I miss things. So it's possible that there are things here and there, but honestly, I'm not seeing anything noteworthy. But here's the thing. When you make this type of content, even if it started out as a joke, there are potential problems. So, while I didn't see any earthies, there still runs the risk of poltergeist or thought form entities that can be potentially, potentially created through faking paranormal activity, especially through manifesting certain intentions. It kind of reminds me of the saying, fake it until you make it. Visualizing and even acting out a certain situation, event, behavior, outcome, etc is part of the manifestation process and depending how much energy is put into it in addition to the amount of attention it gets from viewers can affect this. In my opinion, if they keep it up, they will eventually have paranormal activity. Whether it's manifested from scratch or manifested from attraction. Obviously, they can do whatever they want on their social media accounts. Um, people are going to do what they're going to do. And it's very similar to the YouTube channel Really Haunted, except the difference is while he does fake a lot of his paranormal activity, there are things in his space. But with this family here, there's nothing there quite yet. However, with that being said, I would say if they are hell bent on continuing this type of content, which I get it, it brings in views, it's funny, it's entertaining, I mean I would do it too, but I can't because I'm a medium and people want facts or as much truthful information for me as possible, but if they're going to continue their skits, I would just say they need to be adamant in their intentions, that it's for fun and for entertainment purposes only which they don't have to like say publicly or anything. They just have to think it and just maybe before they do the skit, just take a moment and be like, okay, this is for entertainment purposes only for fun. I do not intend to create anything out of this like entities or whatever or attract spirits and stuff. Again, they could say it to themselves. They don't have to say it out loud. And I feel like too, doing simple cleansings with with Sage and Palo Santo once a month, especially because they have the attention of over a million people, would be beneficial. But also because they're busy individuals and like all of us, we work, 
We leave the house, whether it's for working, groceries, errands, whatever. You still get that negative energy residue from some of the surroundings. And so it's always good to do a once-over uh, body cleansing with some of these things. You could use Palo Santo for that. And for their space, like I said, Palo Santo and Sage. Um, I don't know if they're in an apartment building or any kind of building or in a city that's densely populated. If they are, um, then maybe definitely I recommend doing cleansings. But if they're not having any real issues, while they could do it monthly, they could probably even do it every few months. But two, with all the eyes that are on them, I mean, I'm not saying that there are people that will intentionally put stuff there, but you do have those um, bad seeds, if you want to call them that, that are jealous, or even, not even just that, like you get people that are so, I don't know, what's the word? They get hyper fixated on certain people and sometimes their emotions and thoughts can be translated. Even just simple jealousy of wanting what they have could bring on negative things for that couple. So again, that's why it's important to do cleansings and things and just have a routine of it. But yeah, there's not much really going on here. I will say though, I feel like she has a remote that she uses to move things. Um, I know she has some kind of device that she's controlling with her fingers. In one of the TikToks, I forget which one it is, it's like you see her hand is hiding and it looks like she's hitting buttons or whatever. But other explanations to what is causing the activity or things to move around. I mean, you could do invisible wires. You could do stop motion. Um, there are plenty of things that you can do to um, make it look like or seem like there's paranormal activity. And it would be really cool to learn those techniques because it will make it easier to explain to like those questioning the fake paranormal activity and to show how things can be done but also maybe in the future I want to make a movie a horror movie and I would need to know that but of course that stuff would be like in the description saying this is fake I wouldn't try to pass it off as anything real because that's messed up I was trying to do better and not curse throughout the entire video, but I have the mouth of a sailor and things just happen. So yeah. Um, I know this video is short, but I hope it answered your questions. And if you have any comments, concerns, thoughts, leave them down below. I'm curious to know what you have to say. If there's any other like um, channels or videos you want me to look at to see if it's legit let me know let me know because honestly it's kind of fun to investigate and I don't know I like that kind of stuff I low-key like the debunker channels because it does help people to see like when people are actually faking although sometimes they go a little too far and when people aren't faking they're saying they're faking and so that can be frustrating but in general I think it's healthy to have a certain level of skepticism because you don't want to trust everything that's out there on the internet because there are people that will take advantage of others and that is not cool. But yeah, I'm going to leave this video here and I will see you all soon. Peace out.